Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Inside Guns with your host, me, the Yankee Marshall. Today, I'm going to talk 38 special revolvers, 38 special plus P revolvers. Because in the past, I've done lots of lists of, you know, best snubby, best 357 Magnum snubby. And when people ask me, well, what's the best 38 special snubby? I always say, well, it's the same as the best 357 Magnum snubby. You just put 38 special in it. But a lot of people want to know what is specifically the best 38 special snubbies or 38 special plus P. And there are some advantages to having a 357 Magnum gun and putting 38 special in it. Like it's usually a little heavier, a little bigger, it uh, controls recoil better. But there's also advantages to 38 special plus P snubbies. They're generally smaller, lighter, and they usually cost less. So I am going to do a list today of the top five 38 special plus P revolvers you can buy on the market today. All right, number five on the list is the Smith & Wesson Model 36. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, do they still make those? Yes, they do. And they are a great little 38 special revolver. Now, they are not a big seller because they are not uh, made for 357 Magnum, but they are still around. And they're actually a very nice little gun. They're not the lightest, since they are all steel. They're 19.5 ounces. Uh, they are a five-shot revolver, double action, single action. Uh, overall length is just under seven inches, so it is a very small little gun. You might think seven inches is huge, but actually seven inches is very small when you take into account the grip, you know, the back strap, et cetera, on these guns. So it's relatively small, but it does have a very high MSRP. The MSRP on this gun is $849. Now, it's not the most uh, technologically advanced gun. Most revolvers aren't, but this one is even less so because, you know, it has a ramped front sight that's integral to the barrel. There's no changes you can make. Uh, the back sight is just a gutter sight, so no real adjustments there. But like I said, it's a little 38 special snubby revolver, so it doesn't really need sights. I've talked about that in other videos. So that one is number five on the list, the Smith & Wesson Model 36. All right, at number four, we have a gun that most people are familiar with. It is the Smith & Wesson 637. This is their lightweight 38 Special Plus P revolver. This has the uh, aluminum alloy body and stainless steel barrel and cylinder. Now, this gun weighs in at 14.3 ounces, so it's a lot less than that Model 36 that was almost 20 ounces. And it has an overall length of 6.3, so it's even shorter. It also has a smaller MSRP at 539. Now, this is also a five-shot 38 Special Plus P revolver. Now, you might be thinking this gun would have probably been higher on the list. You might have expected this gun to be in contention for number one or two. But it isn't for a couple of reasons. Actually, a few reasons. Well, no, two main reasons. One, front sight is fixed. You can't change it out. I don't find that to be acceptable on a gun, especially a gun that's over $500. And number two, it's just a five shot. There's only five shots here. Now, to me, that's fine. But a lot of people prioritize capacity. So the very uh, fact that it's just a five shot when six shots are available puts it further down on the list. And that's why it's number four. Now at number three, and you might be surprised to see this over a Smith & Wesson, is the Taurus 856. Now the one that I'm actually talking the most about here is their ultralight version of this gun, which makes it a very light gun. It comes in at 16 ounces. Now that might not sound really light, but it's light compared to the other Tauruses because Taurus has a very beefy construction. So the very fact that this is still coming in at 16 ounces is very nice. Now, the big advantage this gun has, even though it's a little heavier, is it is a six shot gun, but it's still very small, six and a half inches long, very comparable to the 637 from Smith & Wesson. So it has a lot going for it. Now, it also has a fixed front sight, but the fact that it has six rounds is what puts it a little over the Smith & Wesson and puts it at number three on my list. Like I said, the Taurus 856 is a really good six-shot 38 Special Plus P revolver. That's a really nice size, very light. And like I said, that's why it's number three on this list. 
All right, at number two on the list is a gun that would be my number one, but since I'm taking your likes into account, it's gonna be number two on this list. It is the Ruger LCRX. Now this is the 38 Special Plus P, double action, single action, hammered version of the Ruger LCR. Has an external hammer. It's a very light gun, weighing in at only 13 and a half ounces. I believe that makes it the lightest gun on this list, even lighter than the 637. It's also a five shot revolver, like the 637. And it has a very similar overall length. It's six and a half inches. It's a common length for these guns. So it's not a large gun. Now the MSRP is what hurts this gun. It's got a $719 MSRP, which puts it kind of towards the pricey end. It makes it, I think, the second most expensive gun on this list. But if you're taking price out of the, uh, out of the uh, equation here, this is a great gun. Now it does suffer, like I said, from only being five shots, but it does at least have a replaceable front sight. You can change the front sight out to what you like. So that's a big plus for it. So just its overall quality, how light it is, how remarkably good the trigger is, and the fact that you can change the front sights, even though it's a little expensive, places it solidly at number two on this list. All right, now we're to number one on the list, the gun that pushed the Ruger LCRX out of the top position. And the reason it pushes it out of the position is because of your all's desires. I know you all are a bunch of capacity queens. So at number one is the Colt Cobra. Now this gun is not light, it is pretty heavy in fact. Uh, they don't advertise the weight. It's hard to find out how much they weigh exactly. I weighed mine right over here before the video, or actually during the video, and it was 1.8 pounds. So it's as heavy as a 357 Magnum revolver. Not exactly a lightweight gun, but that weight will serve you well when you're shooting 38 Special Plus P. It'll feel like you're shooting 22. It'll be a very easy to handle gun as far as recoil is concerned. Also, it is six shots. So you're getting the capacity of a mid-size revolver in a small snubby revolver. So that's a big plus right there. That's one of the reasons it's number one on this list. It's a great quality gun with a really good trigger. It's solid construction, all stainless steel. It's small, it's seven and a quarter inches long, but that isn't really much longer than all the other ones on this list. And it's mostly because it has a full two inch barrel and it's got a little bit of a different arc on the grip. So a lot of that way, uh, different length, and it's not much extra length, like a half inch is in the grip frame. So still a very easy to carry and conceal gun. And even though, like I said, it's almost two pounds, still very easy to carry and conceal. And it's not even the most expensive gun on the list. It comes in at a retail price, an MSRP of 699. There's two guns on this list that cost more than it, including the LCRX. So great gun overall good quality, good trigger, six shots. And it also has a removable front sight, which is important to me. You can change the front sight. So this gun has the uh, exchangeable front sight, replaceable front sight of the LCRX, but pairs it with a six shot capacity in a small, easy to carry, easy to handle, 38 special plus P revolver. And that's why it's number one. All right, everybody, before I leave, I wanna remind everyone that we are still doing Toy Guns for Tots. We are in the first week of donations here. We're a little behind where we're usually at. So if you wanna give, go over to tympistolproject.com. There's a link in the upper corner of this video. When you get over there on the website, there's a place that explains what Toy Guns for Tots is, if you don't already know, and clearly marks a spot where you can donate. So if you can at all afford to give, please do so. Every dollar helps. I wanna make this a great Christmas for a lot of little tots out there. So go on over, donate if you can. Thanks to those that have, and thanks to those that will. And with that being said, I am out of here. I hope you enjoyed the show today. I hope you come back again tomorrow. Until then, I wanna remind everyone out there to always carry and stay safe until I see you again. Some people, it might be a little too little. They might want more rounds. So, hmm.
The 637, I think, is the only one lighter than it. Uh, no, it's not. It's not lighter. And it weighs in at... No, I already talked about what it weighed in at. God damn it! What do I think is the best three... You know, a, a, a really big... Fuck! On my list of best 38... God damn it. Where did this little fucker come from? All right. All white. What the fuck is all white? All right, number four on the list is someone... Is someone... It is very, very... Uh, what was I going to say? Easy to use, high quality, semi-automatic... Not semi-automatic. God damn it. What am I talking about? I think it is the Colt Cobra. Now this gun weighs in... I don't know the weight on the Colt Cobra. But... 